Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Dave Keith, this is ABL Reselling. This is part two of last weekend's absolute bumper haul of stock. My single best weekend for sourcing to date. I did mention at the time that I picked up some figurines from a house clearance, which are this little lot here. I won't be going through the plates because I covered those in the, in the last video and I'm happy with the valuation on those. But the one thing that I mentioned in the last video was that these figurines potentially add very significant value, particularly the ones in the larger boxes, the Compton and Woodhouse figures. So I did say I'd put this video together to go through and drill down on the valuations on them. I put a listing value of £25 each on those particular figurines, which I'm more than happy to stand by. But let's see if there's anything in there that's going to mean a bigger payday. OK, I'm going to start with the lower value ones, actually. And the first one is a boxed figure from the Leonardo collection. The title of this one is Thoughts of a Clown. I just won't get it out. It's, uh, it is what it's says on the front of the box that's the figure now the fact that it's in this box is going to be a selling point because the comps that I'm finding I'm not finding this exact figure but I am finding a lot of clowns from the Leonardo collection and the list of value I'm going to put on that one is like I said in the last video £15 there was a group of six figures from Neo these figures are handmade in Spain I haven't actually looked at these properly myself nice little result on the first one this first one is Girl with Cello. That one there, lovely little figure. Listing value on that one is £25. There are comps up to £40 on that one, but I'm not going to be greedy on these figures. I'm going to obviously try and get more than I estimated, but I want to fast flip on them. Next is the Girl with Doll. To do my research on eBay for checking comps on these, what I'm doing is basically typing what I see. So it's a Neo figure, Girl with Doll, go through the results. The results for this one are between 15 and 25 pound. So as always, I'm going to go down the low end of the scale on that one and stick a listing value of 15 pound on that one. Now there is one comp on this one. It's very low value. I just typed in for this one, woman in hat. This would be a lot simpler if they were all named or had serial numbers. But I have found one with a listing value of £13, so that's exactly what I'm going to put on that one. This lovely little figure is a young man with a poorly dog. No comps for this specific one, but there are a lot of Neo figures, boy with dog, which is what I was typing in, obviously. Comps that there are range between £13 and £35. I'm going to stick my neck out a little bit on this one. And the reason I'm doing that is because, like I said, with all of them, they come in their original boxes and they're in absolutely pristine condition. I'm going to stick a listing value on this one of £20. Next, we have this lovely girl with a little umbrella. Sadly, this one is damage repair. I don't know if you can just make it out just there. It's been glued. That umbrella is supposed to be straight and finish up a bit there kind of thing. Now, the comps for this one range between £15 and £30 for this specific one. But because it's damaged, I think that's going to take all the value out of it. I may list it for a few quid just to see if it shifts, hang about for a week or two, and then consign it to the big mantelpiece in the sky. <laughs> and last of the narrow figures, this larger yawning girl. It's almost double the size of the other ones. Doesn't necessarily mean it's worth more. The comps on this particular one, and there are quite a few, range between 15 and 25 pound. So I'm going to put a listing value on this one of 25 pound. And that is all of the Neo figures. Okay, let's get into the figures that I've been really looking forward to researching. In this job lot, there was 10 figures by Compton and Woodhouse. Highly collectible figurines. So let's get into it and see if any of these are pearls and see if my original valuation of £25 each was up to scratch. First out of the gate, I mean, if you're into this kind of thing, they are beautiful. The detail on them is just extraordinary. This one is the Fairest Rose. Let's see if that's going to focus on the camera. And maybe, maybe not. This is a limited edition figure. This is number 9498 of 12,500. I've given it a bit of a critical eye over and there doesn't appear to be a mark out of place on it. And some of the 
the detail on it is just incredible. The, the rose that's um, it's in the hand there, the intricacy of it is fantastic. I have just checked comps on this one and I'm smiling already <laughs> because my original valuation of £25 has been already whacked out of the park. There is one comp for this figure. I, I can't imagine these come up very often anyway. There is a, a recent comp for £125. So straight out of the gate, this one figure has paid for all of that clearance lot. These figures have been particularly well cared for. This lovely lady, the title of it is The First Dance and it's number, it's again a limited edition, number 109 of seven and a half thousand in the run of this one. It was a little bit more difficult to uh, research this one because there aren't any comps on eBay. Google is throwing up some results for similar items, the same brand, the same flavour, for want of a better word. None of the ones I've found have been limited edition though. So I'm going to take a stab in the dark at this one. The ones that I'm finding evidence on are coming in at around about the £70 mark. Again, like I say, they're not the limited edition ones. So I'm going to stick my neck out on this one and put a listing value of hundred pound on it and my reasoning for that is is based on the value of the last figure limited edition same family of ornaments so that is my listing value for that one now there are a couple of these figures that come with wooden plinths and i suspect this is one of them because it's quite large this is again a limited edition 2005 by compton woodhouse and it's christine What's the name of it? I can't find any evidence of this specific item. Now I suspect because of the nature of these items, they're highly, highly collectible. That is actually good news rather than bad news. There's no comps for uh, Comp to Woodhouse Christine or any figures like this on eBay, but Google's a different story. It does turn up some results, again, not of this particular one. So what I'm going to do with this one is put it on auction. It's very, very rare. I'll do an auction, but I'll stick this on with a starting value of £80. So I'm going to use £80 as my reference point for this video and see where it ends up. If you follow me on Instagram, I will be updating this regularly as they sell. So hit me up on Instagram. I'll stick the tag in just down here. Watch out for that one. Listening value for argument's sake, £80. Looking very similar to the first one. This one is Olivia. Brought out in 1997 and the run was limited to 1,997 of them. Now the markings on the bottom, uh, it's very unusual. It actually says that this is number 2.436 of 1997. Not entirely sure what that means. Perhaps it's some kind of special markings. I'm sure people who are into collecting these items know more, much more about this than I do. I could only find one comp on eBay for this figurine and it's from America and that was at 150 $53. Now I might be wrong in thinking this, but I'm, I'm thinking that the low numbers, maybe one to 10 are more collectible, particularly if it's number one, say. That's based on assumption more than research. <laughs> Immaculate condition. Again, the listing value I'm gonna put on this one is 120 pound. Now when I was doing my research and getting all giddy about the potential valuations of those, the reason for that and the reason for such a range, like I said in the original uh, video where I said between 25 and a thousand pound is because I did find one comp and it was quite a recent comp as well at a thousand pound. So we are halfway through the Compton Woodhouse figures at the minute and the one that we're looking for is the last dance. That's what it's called. I'm hoping in these boxes it's in there. This is quite exciting. <laughs> is it just me? <laughs> it's just me, isn't it? Okay, next up is this lovely Coronation Ball Christina. With a little flowers on, again, immaculate condition. Uh, again, a limited edition one. This was brought out in 2005, and this is number 68 of 7,500. Now, there's no comps at all, like I said, for this on, on eBay, but there is some evidence on Google. All the results are bringing up that I mentioned anything to do with price though at WorthPoint links. But fortunately, I've got a trial membership with WorthPoint and Christina has recently been sold for £95. So that's the listing value I'm going to put on Christina. Because of the size of her as well, I think this was perhaps the other one 
that's had the wooden plinth as well. Now it's not all sunshine and roses <laughs> and I am sometimes wrong. This absolutely gorgeous figure is again a Compton and Woodhouse figure. Uh, it is a keepsake number 1838 of 12 and a half thousand. I've checked both eBay and worth point for this and there is one result and that result is 16 pound. So in the spirit of being absolutely upfront and genuine, I'm going to, that's the listing value I'm going to put on this one. So I don't want to chalk it up as a fail because obviously, hello, <laughs> but it's not £25, Dave, is it? Not £25. <laughs> but just to bring it back nicely, this is Bell of the Ball. Again, flawless. This is number 436 of 12,500. There is a recent comp for this figure as well. And I'm going to more than happily aim for the same value on it because that comp was £235. So that is going to be my listing value for this figure. Still haven't found the elusive £1,000 figure yet, but this one is Kate. Doesn't appear to be a limited edition one, this. And it was quite difficult to check comps on it. There is one that I can find that is listed at the moment. No comps and no evidence on worth point. The one that's listed at the minute is on for £100. So what I'm tempted to do is just undercut that and stick a listing value on this at £80. Now for this one, I had to rely on worth point again. This beautiful detail figure is titled Splendor at Court, number 4,270 of 12,500. And that's what the bottom looks like. Now we're talking turkey with this one because worth point reports that this figure will sell or sells for 250 pound. So that's exactly, I'm so tempted to juggle this. <laughs> So that's exactly the listing value I'm going to put on this. This is the last figure. If it turns out to be the thousand pound one, I swear to you that this wasn't planned and scripted. I don't know what's in this box. I have, I mean, I could be saying that, couldn't I? I mean, just get on with it. But this, if this is the thousand pound figure, I'm going to do a little jig. I have never, ever, ever got this excited over pot figures before in my life, and they probably never will do again. A very fluffy dress. This is my true love. It's not the last dance. It's my true love. This is number 355 of 12,500. Looking over it again, I'm not seeing a mark on it. She's not got her hair out of place eBay is actually chucking up a couple of results on this one. Sadly, not worth a thousand pound. Sadly, not worth a couple of hundred pounds. Sadly, not even worth a hundred pound. However, there is evidence for this one at 80 pounds. So that's the listing value I'm going to put on this. Now, as I mentioned in my last video, with the plates that I collected as part of this job lot that I got for £100, there is around about £80 to £100 in value in the plates as well. I'm going to make a judgment call on those when I come to listing them, whether it's worthwhile doing or not. Obviously, high probability of breakage. These figures, when they get sold, they're going to be wrapped within an inch of their lives to ensure safe transit. But this video is just about the figures and now it's time to announce the grand total for all the figures. Have you been keeping track? Have you been adding up as we've gone along? I feel it, I feel it's time for a drum roll. Because no thousand pound figures, but the grand total for all these figures is £1,269. This has certainly been an education for me. I think moving forward, looking at things, because of you, you do come across items like this, not necessarily of these brands, at boot sales. Moving forward, I'm very, very conscious of the time I spend at any table and going through each of these figures, although I've obviously edited this video, there has been in between clips as I've been doing it almost in real time as I film this video I have edited the video to give it a bit of pace and there has been some research gone into the valuations on these it's not always practical to do that when you're in a field and generally speaking the people who collect these figures know exactly what they've got so they're gonna sell them elsewhere not 
and in a soggy field. Now for obvious reasons, I'm going to be getting these listed as soon as possible, just to see the action. Hit me up on Instagram, like I say, if you want to keep abreast of the development of any of these figures. What I will endeavour to do is every, every time one sells, just stick a quick post on Instagram just to update you. So if you want to get me on Instagram, you can get me just there and at this point i will say thank you very much indeed for supporting the channel and thank you very much for watching the video i've been dave keith you've been amazing see you in the next video